Hey, my name is Attorney Walter if not the third, and with Disability Resolution PA. Let's go ahead and talk. Um, what are some basic things that you need to know about what an alleged onset date is? An alleged onset date is the date in which you are claiming you met the five-step sequential process under the Social Security Administration's disability systems for Title II SSDI and Title 16 SSI. Okay, so that basically means that that's the date you're putting your thumb on saying, on this date, boom, I became disabled. Now look, some people have it easier when it comes to finding out which date this is. Why? Well, let's call it like it is. If you got in a car accident, your arm got cut off by some machine where you work, it's pretty easy. On that day, at that time, I was found disabled. But for a lot of people, there's like, you know, schizoaffective disorder, anxiety, depression, post-traumatic, yada yada, stress disorder, or whatever, it doesn't matter, you could have anything. But a lot of these things, there's a lead out time, you know? I'm getting worse, I'm getting worse, I'm getting worse, I'm getting worse, and boom, I am severely disabled. And it's tough to figure out where that boom, severely disabled is. Ultimately, it's proved with medical documentation, but at the same time, you need to have a kind of general idea as to where these things are all at, all right? And that's why I have those questions that I did that question video on of what I use as general questions to kind of get a, 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 a general understanding of where your actual alleged onset date is. All right. My name is Attorney Walter Ruth, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. You have an absolutely wonderful day. And remember, by the time you watch this video, the information may be old hat. So give me a call. Also, if you have a unique question for a unique claim, give me a call. Also, if this video helped you in any way, please, 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 please go leave a positive five-star AVO review. Why? I want to have 500 AVO reviews of people that I've helped. And when I do testimonials in the future, I'm not going to do those crappy testimonials that you basically see on TV. Um, you know, I went with such and such and they're reading the teleprompter and the, you know, the actual floor statute says you can't, you know, you basically can't write it for them, you know, and yada, yada, yada. Like this has to be their words. This has to be their thing. And, and yet obviously it's all been written for them. But my bottom line is this, um, in the future we're going to be doing testimonials where people get to see the emotional context and understand where people are at throughout this process because I feel like that's much more important than a stupid commercial that says, I went with this person or that way, blah, 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 blah. that's fine, that's an advertisement, that's cool, but um, it's pretty much completely worthless to the person who's going through this. So anyway, I'll catch you later, have a wonderful day. Um, remember by the time you watch this video, it may be old stuff, so call me for an up-to-date thing. Alright, thanks so much, bye-bye.